Welcome back. We hear it almost every day, the importance of moving to an electrical grid powered by wind and solar. And at the, in the state of Maryland is holding a series of town halls to discuss the topic. Our Stephen Cohen attended one of those meetings in Hagerstown. So just how realistic is Maryland's green energy future? I am interested to hear how the state's the state plans to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 60 percent by 2031. Solar, wind, yeah. Those plans were revealed in a climate town hall here at Hagerstown Community College, part of a statewide series of public forums on making the transition to green energy. Middletown resident Paul Walker is taking money from the Inflation Reduction Act to make the transition. I'm looking to get rid of and maybe use IRA funds to first get rid of my gas dryer. So-called environmental justice is the agenda of Governor Westmore's new administration. That means phasing out fossil fuels consumption. But Renee Bergen, who lives in Hagerstown, wants the elimination of certain widely used fertilizers and pesticides she says are polluting the atmosphere and killing insects critical to the ecosystem. Um, it's amazing to me that in other states and other countries that there are these products that have been banned and it known toxic chemicals. In December, the state will release our plan saying here are the new policies and programs we're gonna put in place to make this transition happen. The public forums will continue throughout the state into the fall. Reporting from Hagerstown, Stephen Cohen, DC News Now.